Hey guys, today we will discuss camber. What are the benefits of camber and how does it improve a car's performance? Now let's get started. Let me start by saying that the current fad of adding obscene amounts of camber for aesthetic purposes gives no performance advantage. In fact, any camber that is visually noticeable will almost always hurt performance due to fast tire wear and limited contact between the tire and the road. Although we can often see this excessive performance robbing camber on the roads, small amounts of camber can increase grip while cornering in most vehicles. The most efficient camber setting depends on tire size, body roll, and the overall rigidity of the vehicle. Before I start talking about why camber improves performance, I should probably define what camber officially is. Camber is simply the angle between the vertical plane of the tire and the horizontal surface. Positive camber leans the top of the tire away from the car, where negative camber leans the top of the tire toward the car. Now that we have a good idea about what camber is on a vehicle, we can begin to look at how it increases a car's performance. The fundamental purpose of camber is to increase grip while cornering. This is achieved by maximizing the amount of tire touching the road. The easiest way for me to begin discussing why camber is effective is by looking at this picture of a racing car as it leans while cornering. As the car leans, the tire's contact patch moves toward the outside edge of the tire due to body roll and the flex of the sidewall. Camber is an angle used to compensate for this change in contact patch when the vehicle goes to return. With this in mind, it's easy to see why positive camber only degrades performance, where negative camber can increase performance. The overall goal for camber is to maximize the amount of tire touching the road when it is needed the most. The best way to find the optimal camber settings is by measuring the surface heat of the tire or by carefully measuring tread depth looking for an almost even wear pattern with the inside of the tire having worn slightly more due to continuous contact with the road. As a conclusion, camber is an angle that can both improve and diminish cornering ability in a variety of vehicles and in a variety of situations by changing how the tire contacts the road. As always, if you have any specific questions, be sure to ask in the comments and I will either feature you in a video or answer your questions directly. See you next time, guys!